Hailed bird, hailed bird, what dimmed your shine? Past's grip beyond our grasp, the future we may still clasp. <laughs> Future TNT Dynamite here, the explosive one. This is, uh, I'm dubbing over this. This will be the fight where we actually beat the white clad noble. What do I have to say about the white clad noble? Honestly, I respect this man and I respect his hustle because he made me hustle for victory. Uh, he, he's he's on a different level. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad to see that this game has inventive bosses, and I know that we are still very early in the game, and they're gonna get harder. Do I have any tips or tricks for this guy? Um, he has a thrusting attack that if you are able to dodge it religiously between both forms, it will uh, it will serve you very well because the follow up from that. Especially on the first form, highly punishable. You can almost just mash on him after that in some instances. Uh, he also has one where he'll uh, spin on his stick and then he'll do like he'll do like a little kick and then he'll do another little attack from the air. That one also is highly punishable. So learn how to blo dodge those two. And you only really have to dodge the final hit from the one where he does the whirlwind spin on his stick. Uh, and the flurry of blows that he does, the one where if you, you go and you'll tag him in the face, sometimes he'll just go into like a flurry. He can extend that. Also very highly, uh, dodgeable. Yeah, so I, the, the first form, very well done. I enjoyed this fight so much, I got very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. <laughs> it took me like a good hour of of just cold hard fights and I was even taking a lot of damage in this one and I was thinking there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this so going into the second stage I was only thinking let me see if I can find some openings yeah see I'm, I'm pretty low on health here but what can you do Forced my hand. Now you shall face what I truly am. All right, second phase. I found a little success in second phase and just baiting out dashes, hitting him with like a two piece, maybe a three piece every once in a while, and just kind of chipping away I guess at it at the guy but the fight started dragging out and then once it starts dragging out it, it just I don't know it was kind of like a war of attrition like I was still losing bits of health here and there from some from like just bad dodging I guess so when I lost so much health in, in the first phase I'm thinking let's just see if we can find some openings and I need to tell you that I found some openings um, when he goes, when he gets close to you, he only does very, very few attacks. It's either going to be, they all do a lot of damage, but there's very few attacks he does when you get close to him. So baiting this out is great, and then once he's with you, you can just smash. Dodge that attack, that's the only attack he's going to do. He's only going to do one thing, so he's not that dangerous. But he is that dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, man. You, you know what I'm saying, right? Like it's it's clear. Baiting out the baiting out the dash, and then just staying close, and getting out before it's too late. You can mash on him, just kind of like in his first form. Definitely more intimidating in the second form, but no more of a hassle in the second or the first form. So it did take me a little while to learn the fight, but very rewarding and I feel like any challenges that come after this 
we're prepared for. He goes hog wild with the throwing of the spear sometimes at the end. I've had him do it four times in a row and kill me with it. So yeah, we're pretty low on health, but uh, I can guarantee you that we got this under control. So I'm gonna send you back to present day dynamite and you can get his real time reaction <laughs> to, to finally dispatching the white clad noble. Future dynamite out. brother's eyes and ears. I feign my loyalty to guard this path on the bear's order. Your destiny is bleak and stark. In its grip, we share the mark. The Guanyin Temple now lies in cinders, yet the Elder Soul endures. The root of greed and fosters the stem of suffering. <sighs> Better to forget the thing you truly seek. The three bells. Have you seen them all? Oh my god. Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the Black Wind Choir's return, yet no one is allowed to go near them. Maybe the bells have something to do with the temple's burning. His words sound like truth to me, little monkey. Stay sharp and keep a lookout. All right. Black Wind Cave. I, I don't know if I want to go there yet. This, whoa, man. Like, this guy... He, he deserves some respect, man. Um, not what I don't even know what to say, man. It took me so long. I've been fighting him for about an hour now. Um, you got to respect him. Second form, just cheese it. Wait for him to do the, uh, the attack where he just kind of dashes forward at you. And kind of just like get your hits in first phase like you can almost just mash on it <laughs> like literally you can you can kind of just mash on it and it will occur okay okay um guys can we chill is this some rack and knee shoes just a couple rackies easy <laughs> I have no more juice man I'm juiced out I was on my this is the, the HP I beat the balls on so oh my god that guy he's a beast man but I, I couldn't even start the next episode until I killed him just didn't feel right that's interesting just a, a man hanging from there. A fur man, but a man nonetheless. Say his name. Yes. Yes. Every knee shall bow when the bell tolls. Can I do anything with this? 
And once again, I beat the boss without utilizing the freeze uh, ability at all. At no point in time did I freeze anything. Whatever. I always, always like uh, putting a little magic into my builds and then never using it. Believe me, my uh, Elden Ring playthrough, which is up on the channel, by the way. The Elden Ring playthrough. I was close in. I was a Faith Dex build. Yeah, I'm that guy. I'm one of them. That was my first playthrough, Faith Dex. I'm going all decks on this on this game now. Can I? Uh, I almost want to go back to the heel, but I'm 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 pretty confident that they wouldn't they would not give us a heel point like soon, right? Like, there's no way they would have us fight another boss or like more enemies or you know make any strange encounters without giving us a heal shrine. It's 2024, right? Get it together, video game developers. Developers. Save me up. All right. Oh, God! It's a, it's a blue demon man. Oh, what are you, man? Okay. Well, you know what? In that case, in that case, video game developers who decided not to give me a health shrine, I'm not just going to take a L. I don't see a point in just taking an unwarranted L. All right? Thank you very much for your service. I'm going to go get my, my my flasks back before we rush in. I fought a bunch of racking issues, you know, it was no problem. But we're not doing all that, all right? We're not. Oh, God, that scared me. I thought somebody was firing arrows at me for half a second there. All right, let's save up. Yes, rest. I can craft something new, too. Uh, all right, let's see what I can craft. I can craft a new weapon. Willow Wood Staff. What can I do? Oh, I can do the twin serpent staff. Okay. It's up in attack. Why wouldn't I? I can't even see any of the other options. It looks pretty linear as well, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and do it. Yep. I was definitely supposed to do that. Light attack combo finishes. Oh, moderately increases the damage of lighter combo attack finishes. This effect is massively enhanced uh, when fighting in water. Ah, so it would have been helpful for the very boss I was fighting against. Interesting. All right, let's see what we got for armor. We have that equipped. Oh, we can get some new armor. What does this one do? Uh, when health is low, slowly recover a small amount of health in water. The effect is... Oh, in water, the effect is enhanced. This just gives us a little bit more sprint speed. This sounds pretty cool, and it looks amazing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, man. The teal... The teal on black is calling me. Uh, yes, equip that immediately. Get that on my body, please. Alright, what does this do? Massively reduces stamina cost when in water. Um, so I just got a, I got the water set, essentially. I can make it. I don't have a, the uh, required will right now. And then we can get the water greaves, which is massively reduces stamina cost when in water. Alright, so we'll stick with what we got on now. Um, did we get these wrist wraps? We don't have the will to do anything right now. Wonderful, man. I'm so pleased with that. Oh my god, I look so badass. Look at us, man. Oh, that's so good. Okay, game. You throw in aesthetics and you make the monkey guy look awesome. I'm I'm on board. 
I am on board. Let me fight that boss again, too. I mean, there's got to be a way that you can farm bosses. I don't really see why you'd want to, but there's there's got to be something that you can do to refight these guys. Some of these some of these fights have been really really cool, and I would love to revisit them. The fight revisitor has entered the, has entered the building. All right, what do we got here? We already know what to expect. There's going to be one lizard man, not to be confused with Sophie Tia. Get knocked. I can see your moves. You doing backflips in there, man? You're very agile. I didn't know lizards were known for their agility. But you know what we're made for? We're made for adulation. Excuse me? There is a man there. There's no men here. Let's go where there's no men first. And then we'll go into the men's section. Go get a pair of slacks. Oh, is this a pill? It is the Celestial Tai Pill. A miraculous pill crafted by King Father of the East on the mountain of Fang Zong that increases maximum mana? Okay, well, sure. I just eat it, I guess. Yeah, give me my mana up. All sorts of manners. And then we'll meditate. Ah, serenity. Should I do some ASMR? ASMR on. This is me dropping my cell phone. Ooh, we got some sparks too. So we'll spend those uh, when we get an opportunity. I do want to take a peek in here. Just want to peek my head in. Just get the, just get my nose a little damp in here. I don't know what you are. Come fight me. Don't be doing backflips in the dark, man. Stop that. Do backflips over here in the light where I can see you. Okay. Oh, you don't attack. You don't know who you're messing with, man. I'm bipedal. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's just peek in. Oh, I love it. Tight corridors, liminal space. <laughs> you can turn out the torches? Does it actually affect lighting if you do this? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I have to know. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. We have a natural glow about us. Like Bruce Leroy. Coming for a I sh I oh you man, he put out a light, man. I can't even see this guy. I just know he's coming. Knock him off. Knock him off. Alright, I'm enjoying this, man. This is a great game, and I, I love the way this area looks, too. And uh, on the next episode, we'll get even deeper into the depths. See what we can dig up down there. Uh, like and subscribe. TNT Dynamite, and I'm out.